So Tyro Marsh, welcome back to Meadow Park. Um, obviously after a summer move to Hertfordshire rival Stevenage, you're now back at the club. How happy are you to be returning? Yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. I can't wait to get going. I mean, as I walked in today, put a smile on my face. Um, after a, a short stint at the Lamex with Stevenage, um, you're back, now back at the club where you arguably had the best form of your, your entire career. You scored 16 goals in, in 40 to total appearances last season. Um, I imagine your aim is to pick up that, that goal scoring form again. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think 16 goals throughout the whole season was was good return for me and I've obviously joined in January, February so at, if I could get at least 10 before the end of the season I'd be happy with that. So you're rejoining your strike partner Kabi Tishamanga but first let's touch on, on your relationship um, with the gaffer Luke Garrard. Um, what part did he have to play in you returning to the club? Yeah obviously we had a very good relationship like me and him get on very well so when I heard Boreham Wood was interested, I knew like that that was my number one option. I wanted to go there straight away. So you you're gonna team up back up again with with that strike partner, Kabi Tishamenga. Um, last year you scored 16 goals in a curtailed season. He scored 19. So you obviously have a great working relationship. Mm -hmm. um, the team struggled for goals so far this season, but he still chipped in with his 11 goals. How excited are you to, at the prospect of getting back out on the pitch with him? Yeah, I can't wait. He's a great player. Like, I think me and him complement each other. As you saw last season, when he didn't score, I scored. But I think we had a little competition going on, like, oh, I'm going to catch you this week. I'm going to catch you. And I think that's why we both started getting lots of goals. So you mentioned as soon as, as Bournemouth came in, that was where you wanted to go. It was your, your number one um, destination. Um, I imagine that's because you feel comfortable here. Does it feel like it's somewhat of a homecoming for you? Yeah, I mean, as soon as I signed last year, the season before, it was like I didn't know like what was going to happen. And drew, throughout the season, it just became like a home to me and I just felt comfortable. I was playing my best football. I got on well with everyone and the manager was great. So, yeah, I'm just delighted to be here again. So... The season last year obviously was curtailed. We then play the playoffs. Um, a, a great game here against Halifax, but without the fans. We then travelled to Harrogate, and in truth, they were the better team on the day. Um, we didn't complete what we had set out to do. Returning to the club now, does it feel like there's some unfinished business that you want to complete? Yeah, of course there is. We got to the semi-finals, and I think, I think we just didn't turn up really. They they were the better side. Um, so now that I'm back here, hopefully we could go one more, go to the, get to the playoff final and see what happens. And that's always been a big aim of yours is, is to get back into the Football League. Um, you had with Stevenage, um, but now you're coming back to the club on a permanent deal for the next 18 months. I imagine that's your number one aim over this period is, is to get back in the Football League with the club. Yeah, of course. Obviously, yeah, as you said, I went back with Stevenage, back to the Football League. And now that I'm here, I want to bring the one with to the league and see what happens from there. So you mentioned it, it feels like home to you. I uh, imagine a big part of that is, is the fans. Um, during your time here, you've become a huge fans favourite and, and rightly so with the goals that you scored and the energy you brought onto the pitch. Um, unfortunately, they can't be with us at, at this moment. Um, they're going to be absolutely buzzing with, with your return to the club. Do you have any message for them? I was just, thank you for supporting me. Uh, I can't wait to, till you're back and supporting the lads and hopefully we can get promoted all for you.